Greetings everyone. In today's tutorial, we will quickly learn to automatically backup WordPress websites to remote storage using a plugin. You will have an option to save your backup to Google Drive, OneDrive, etc. But in this tutorial, we will save it to Dropbox. Everything will be automatically backed up and you can use the same plugin to make the restoration if required. So let's get started. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. To start with, let's open our sample website and let's learn something.com slash test. This is just a demo imported site. Anyway, we will auto backup this website to Dropbox. Let's log into its dashboard wp-admin, enter the credentials. Now in order to make the backup, we will be using a plugin Updraft Plus. Go to plugins and add new and search for Updraft Plus. So this is the plugin, install now and activate the plugin. I will simply skip the tour. Now click on settings. You can remove the stop notice too. Now to configure backup to Dropbox, go to the settings. Here are a couple of other options to save your backup. You can choose any. You can use Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox and many more. But as mentioned, we will go with Dropbox. Let's first make some configuration. I would like to save the backup every week. Please choose as per your requirement. However, also note that if you have a big website and choose shorter intervals, this will affect your server. So also be cautious on what your server can handle. Anyway, for me, weekly works great. Even for the database, I will choose weekly. I will leave the backup and database numbers to 2. Choose the remote storage. I will choose Dropbox, scroll down and make sure all the files are checked. Then on the expert settings, click on show expert settings. In split archives every, all this configuration depends as per your server. If your server cannot handle big loads or is exhausted, then you can keep it as 25 MB or else you can leave it to default 400 MB. After that, come to delete local backup. Please make sure this option is ticked or else the backup will also be saved on your server and it might overload your server size. You can also change the backup directory's name, but I will leave this as it is. Scroll down and click on save changes. So now, click on follow this link to authorize access to your Dropbox account. Log in to your Dropbox. And click on allow. If you see this screen, click on complete setup. You might have to re-log in. And again click on complete setup. Now the configuration should be complete and this will auto backup your WordPress website. You can click on backup now. Backup now. Please note, you do not need to do this every time. It will be automatically done every two weeks. But I wanted to make sure if everything has been set up all correct or not. Also wanted to keep a copy of the backup now. So it's complete. Scroll down and you should see the backup with dates and the files backed up. To reconfirm, also check your Dropbox account if it has been properly backed up or not. So as you can see, it has made the necessary backups here. You can also check the dates the backup was taken. Anyway, you can also restore your site from this backup. All you have to do is click on this restore button. This will be extremely useful if your website is hacked or has any malicious codes. Your website will be restored to the day the backup was taken. Let me show it to you. Click on Restore. Choose the components to restore. And click on Next.
and click Restore. This restoration will restore the website to the date the backup was taken. So the restoration has been completed. Return to Updraft configuration. Updraft also keeps the old files and renames it by adding dash old. But you can delete them. However, please check the website before deleting everything. I will simply delete it. So the old files have been deleted. So now the website will be backed up automatically. Please do check if there are backup files or not in your Dropbox. Also make sure that the backup is shown in the existing backups. And if you want to disconnect Updraft from your Dropbox, maybe you want to use another Dropbox or anything, log on to your Dropbox, go to Settings and click on Connected Apps. You will see Updraft Plus. Click on it and you can simply disconnect. This will disconnect your website and Dropbox, thus there won't be any backup taken. Also, do check if the plugin is taking regular backups or not. Anyway, I hope this lesson was useful. Thank you very much.